Objective four is we're going to actually attempt. It's really hard when we do a Jamboard or a live stream, um, but we're going to attempt to do a Jamboard together. Um, so if for those that are um, on this document, you can go ahead and go to Jamboard and click on this link if you want to get prepared. So if you want to go ahead and go to this Jamboard while I get ready for the presentation portion, go ahead and go to this Jamboard and I am going to go to the Google Help page and um, give you a quick, what is Jamboard? So we have a brand new page on googlehelp.io.gov. It's a Jamboard page, so you can learn more about Jamboard. Um, I'm gonna go over this slide deck for you um, and just kind of give you a brief rundown of what Jamboard is. And then we will dive into that working Jamboard and do it together. Um, what is Jamboard? Jamboard is a digital whiteboard that allows us for remote or in-person collaboration on a shared space. Um, so many of you may have seen a piece of hardware. Um, I know OCIO has two um, Jamboards, actually maybe three inside the um, actual physical office of OCIO. It's a piece of hardware, much like this displayed on a wall. Um, you maybe have seen your kids in education might have um, a Jamboard. It's, it's just a piece of hardware that lets you do almost identical stuff on the web version. Now, most of us are working remotely or in a hybrid model or don't even have Jamboards in their office. So we're not going to focus on the hardware because it's really more like a 10% of us even know what that is or need to spend time on it. But the thing is, we all of us that have a Google Workspace account have a web version of Jamboard. Um, so we're going to dive into the web version of Jamboard. Um, also, it's important to know that you can don download the Jamboard app on your iOS or an Android device as well. So sometimes that is very helpful to be aware of as well. So what is the Jamboard um, web version as we're going to focus on um, with this? You can actually, same thing, um, it's kind of a hidden gem. It's inside your Google Drive. You can get there by going to the Jamboard, um, to the new, to the more, to the Jamboard, just like we talked about in drawing. It's like hidden. You got to go a little deeper to find it. Um, you can also go to the waffle as we go to the top and find Jamboard. You can type in jam.new. Um, you could go to jamboard.google to find it. Um, what maybe some of you have been experiencing Jamboard is inside of Google Meet. Um, Google Meet is the can, Google Meet allows us to do a whiteboard activity, um, and that uses the tool Jamboard. It's inside your Google Meet under the activity window. So if you are in a brainstorming meeting and you don't um, like, oh, where are we at? We're just like talking in circles. Be the outside the box user and pull up the Jamboard option under your activity window in your Google Meet and start one on the go it works smooth okay nice feature for brainstorming in a meeting okay and it gives those people that are a little less likely to talk give them the opportunity to display their thoughts in a written form instead of chat these are some of the reasons of why you might want to use jamboard as i just kind of elaborated to brainstorming collaborating group projects um task lists so much more and we're going to kind of go over this in the um the hands-on portion as I mentioned, Jamboard does, as in drawing, doesn't have as much help. Jamboard is kind of in between. It does have some, but I think sometimes we're like, how could we use Jamboard? It's not, it's not our normal Microsoft Office tools that we're so used to. We know what um, Word and Docs and Sheets and Excel, what their purpose is. But when something new comes out, we struggle with the why would we use this tool? Um, how would we use these tools? Um, so this is why I provided you, if you're like, I want to implement this, go ahead. Um, here's some more resources for you. So keep that in mind as well. So there's more resources for Jamboard. There are some limitations with Jamboard that you should be aware of because um, this could affect you and the purpose of why you might be trying to use this. Um, unlike slides, I think you can have like two, 250, I can't remember. It's like a large amount of slides you can have in Google Slides. But in Jamboard, he only allowed 20 frames. So it'd be like a smaller slide deck, right? 20 frames is a lot smaller than what you think of in slides. So sometimes we might not say Jamboard is not the ideal solution for you. You might want to use Google Slides as an alternative for whatever you're trying to do. So 20 frames is a limitation. The other limitation that is currently available, this has been up, This I just did a presentation on this and it was 25, 
it is 50 now. So if you were having a meeting of 51 people and you wanted them to all to collaborate on the Jamboard at the same time, one of them is going to be left out. Okay, you only can have 50. So also, it's a really important limitation to be aware of when you're dealing with Jamboards. So um, I, I assume because this has been a complaint um, that we passed on to Google. So I assume this will probably continue to grow. But the current time, 50 collaborators at one time doesn't mean you can have you can share it out to a thousand people. But the chance of them all being at the same time is very unlikely. Um, just know that 50 at one time. So those are some limitations that you have. So one thing that you do within Jamboard is you can actually create custom backgrounds in Jamboard. And this is where you can really start thinking outside the box. Um, you, if you partake in my Google user group, we use Jamboard to provide tips and tricks. And I have a really cool, fun background on each one of the frames. So you can see at the bottom right hand corner, it's a customized background. And so I want to show you, and, I, and this I did not do in last year's training. So I'm going to add this to my training. It's, I want to show you how you can make a customized background. You can customize it in drawing or in, in slides. It doesn't matter. You're just making a fancy background that makes it more interactive, right? It's kind of like a fancy whiteboard. You've drawn the picture around. Now I want you to come up and do your Kanban or I want you to do your task list. You can customize the background so they know exactly what they need to do. You know, so um, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you this um, right now, but this is an example. You, this is on the website, so you can always steal and borrow for one of your other activities. Um, but it's a background for Jamboard. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this and just show you some backgrounds that you can set. These are just not like great pieces of work, but they will work for you. Oh, I wonder if I didn't get that changed. I wonder if I didn't. Hold on. Okay, maybe I'll change this. I will change this. I must not have changed the link on that. But you can see I have made a background in sheet and slides. I apologize. I will update that. I did with this. Okay, anyway, you will see that you have a um, background. It's kind of customized. It says January, February, March, April, and etc. If I go ahead and go to file, download, and do a PNG, it's going to take the selected slide that I have. So in my case, I have selected number one. And I go ahead and download this. It's going to download it into a PNG, JPEG, wherever you want to do. So then if I'm ready to do a new Jamboard, if I say I go to jam.new, I can always set the background. So I can go here and set background. You can see that it has a lots of different options. But what I like is I can actually upload an image and I can upload that image I just downloaded from Google Slides. And now in frame one, I have a here's what you're going to do, right? This could be a, a to do list. It could be a combine. You can do the same thing inside Google Drawing, too, right? It just has to be a PNG file with the right size. So as long as you do the right size, it will then do a frame for you. Notice then in. Um, Frame two, it's blank. So you'd have to repeat this for whatever frame because really, if it's a collaborative session, each frame is probably going to be something different, right? So be aware of that. I must have updated the docs. We'll go back there later. So with that, we, let's go back to this and you can go to objective four. If you are following along live stream, if you're watching the video at a later time, feel free to do the same exact activities that we're doing on this Jamboard. So you can go to this Jamboard and join the fun, which is the green um, hi, um, highlighted section in objective four. So we go here and you'll notice that I've already done the first part, which is to um, add a background. I did it on a different one because it wasn't the right one. So you can see um, in this screen where some of you are trying to join, you can see that it has 20 frames, which is our limitation. Up at the top, you do have the option. If you click on this, you will see that it has 20 different frames here. OK, and each frame has a different icon and so much more. And we're going to learn just a few of the basics of Jamboard as we go through each frame. The other thing that we have available here is that you do have a Zoom option. So if you need to blow it up, you can do that. Um, we already talked about background. 
clearing the frame is like taking the eraser <laughs> and clearing the frame. So if I clear it, right? So that's why the undo is helpful, okay? You gotta remember this is functioning like a whiteboard, okay? You go up there, you clear the frame, you wipe the whiteboard, right? Um, the good news is it does have some options to, um, yes, you got it, see your version history. So who was the one that got click happy and cleared that frame? No worries, you've got C version history, just like we do in the other doc editors where you can restore it back to a certain time or date. So don't worry about that. Notice then you also have the option to save um, images as a uh, image, uh, frame as an image. Wasn't that what we used to do in the actual whiteboard concept? I can't tell you how many images I have in a conference room. I'm taking a picture of a workflow with my phone. Same concept. You could say, hey, um, please do this. Um, this is our brainstorm activity if you want to take a static image of it. Download as a PDF and rename it. So you have all these different options right inside here. Okay, so those are the things. Some people have asked me open in a Jamboard, probably not going to apply to you. Again, this goes back to the other portion of Jamboard, which is the hardware portion of Jamboard, which we, like I said, doesn't seem to have very many users within the Google state of Iowa. So don't worry about it, just ignore it. Open in Jamboard, you don't probably have access to one. So it's just, if you had a Jamboard, this is what you would do, it open to the Jamboard that you have um, close to you, okay? So pretty much ignore that one. Um, so with that, let's go to frame two. So if you're following along, go ahead and, or if you're watching this video at a later time, just go ahead and do go to frame two. And this is where we're just going to understand the tool options that we have. Share your favorite Google Workspace tip or trick. So in this case, the instructions is a sticky note. Notice this background is a static image. Doesn't that kind of tell you this, I think. No, nope, this one isn't, sorry, this isn't. I forgot I didn't do it that way. Anyway, but you could, you could. So with that, let's go ahead and insert a sticky note. Um, just go over here to the left-hand side and you will find a sticky note. And you can see, if you click on the sticky note, you can just say, um, tip one, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you how to make a, you can post your favorite sticky note. You can provide a resource. Um, you can do all sorts of different things, okay? You can change different colors. Um, you can do all different things here for you. So you can then obviously rearrange these sticky notes. Everybody that has edit rights can do this. So you can mess with other people's. Also, we know by now, if you've taken any of my trainings, three dots in Google land means dot, dot, dot. Google has more for you. Notice when you click on it, you have some actions that you can do. You can edit. I can say this is something different. Duplicate is really nice, nice, right? Um, you can also delete. And then we have already learned what order does, right? Maybe this is on top of each other. I want this one to go backwards, okay? So all those things that we kind of just briefly talked about in drawing are here. Can you see why maybe I put them in this training together? <laughs> so you can kind of see you have three dots can give you the capability. So again, that's how you add sticky notes. I like sticky notes a lot. It's an easy way to collaborate. You don't have to be um, very savvy in this. If we go to frame three, this is just showing you how you can insert images. Um, so just make sure, because maybe you do have that old screenshot where you brainstormed in the conference room. You can always click add image. So the image icon, and you can choose by uploading something from your Google Drive, or from your computer, URL, camera, and et cetera. You have all these options that you're so used to seeing now within Google. Just for feasibility, go ahead and do Google image and add your favorite um, vacation spot. So I'm gonna say, I'll just type in mountains, if I can spell it right. You can add any favorite vacation spot. This is just to show you how you can add images. So you select the image and you insert. So you can add any image on here. Again, same things with three dots and you can see how beneficial that is. So now we know how to add images within um, uh, Jamboard. Next one is frame four. So I'm just going over to frame four. Um, this is just to show you how to use the pin and sign your name. 
So over here, you can select the pin option. You do have some different colors. So if you wanted to choose red or you have different highlighting, um, you have different types of pins. So if you wanted a highlighter, you could choose that um, and so much more. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose that and just sign my name. So you can see where this is useful in an actual Jamboard capability. So keep that in mind. If I made a mistake, um, I can go over here and select my eraser and say, oh, no, don't really like that. OK, so you can always erase. Can you really see this is a true whiteboard concept? Um, so keep that in mind as you navigate through this. OK. Now I'm going to go to frame five. This is fun to um, duplicate because this is really cool. So I'm going to go back and do the select button. I need to choose the select button now because I'm still in a race mode, right? I'm still in a race mode. I'm going to go ahead and select the select button, which is the arrow. And this particular instruction says add a smiley face to your Google to your favorite Google Workspace app. So I have already put the image in this particular exercise a smiley face if this was a true group activity i could just say hey everybody select the smiley face and now click Control d and duplicate it and ask you to move your smiley face to the area that is your favorite app so the duplicate this could also work really smooth like how do you feel about getting this project done by um friday the 13th and you can have them duplicate a a thumbs up a thumbs down. You can say all sorts of different things there. So keep that in mind as well. Um, this is a create task list. I just inserted some images or some shapes here already, um, and I changed the background. So I've just kind of added the different um, background for this one. Um, you can see if I set background, I have the grid, the blue graph, I should say. So you can always change the background to what might fit your needs. So in this one, it's in this case, I'm teaching you the text box. So if I click on the text box, I can say today's task is get groceries and go to a track meet. So you can um, do that. And then I could do the same thing over here. So that's how you insert a text box as you navigate. Um, next thing is go to um, this one is fun. This is where I'm thinking outside the box again. Um, this is just an image that I have added from Google Images. Now, this is a great way for feedback for your quiet people and just providing a quiet response. Another way to do a poll. I just kind of like to show you this. But this is where you can duplicate again the image of the, in this case, it's a checkbox. Duplicate, control D or three dots, and then ask them to vote yes or no. Or how do you feel about that? And you can have everybody doing this simultaneously in an activity. Um, this is just to show you how to draw a shape. Um, so again, you could just go over here and, and you can see the activity, do your favorite shape. I'm going to choose a circle, but let's be aware that you have different options, not a whole lot, but you can. And you do have the same border color and fill color options if you choose to, if you got to select something. So if I select this one, I'll make it yellow. So you can add shapes and size shapes in there as well. And this is where I'm going to open it up for questions. But um, if you guys want to, you can go ahead and post it. Um, this is where you can do whatever. You can give them directions. You just have a blank canvas. So be aware of that. I do want to end. I'm almost done with time. I just want to look at the hands-on activity um, folder. Um, this is this is what I wanted to do. I think. Yes, I knew I had. I just didn't put it on my Jamboard. I'll fix that. But if you go to the hands-on activity, I have added, I, I knew I spent time doing this. Um, I have added all these backgrounds that you can, if you want to, you can add these to your own Jamboard. So let's do the capital just for fun. I'm gonna go ahead and file, download this as a PNG. So let's say you are trying to have a more professional Jamboard and you really want it to kind of always have the DNR background or the um, capital. You can always set the background, upload that image, create it in drawing or in um, slides, either way. Um, and you can then, you have a background for this one. 
And now I can add sticky notes on here and just kind of do whatever. So I have provided you in the hands-on folder, these are templates for you to steal. So you can kind of see that I've tried to think outside the box more business um, things that you might want. So please feel free to use, steal, borrow, or whatever. Um, you can file, make a copy of this and then add it to your own Jamboard and adjust it. I just wanted to give you a template. I kind of like this one. This is a Kanban kind of concept. Um, that background will be static, so people won't mess with it, right? The background's static. It's like having a true background on an um, on the wall, right? That's static. I'm not moving that, right? So just kind of be aware of that. 